God saved Grandpa Rhodes, God healed Grandpa McCain, and God saved Judy Garland. Amen. Growing up in an Assemblies of God home, my sisters Pam and Linda and I were not allowed to go to the movies, but thanks to Dad, we had a television. And one of my all-time favorite movies was The Wizard of Oz. I remember how excited I would get sitting in front of our black and white set as the opening music burst into the sweet strains of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I felt goosebumps as I excitedly awaited for Judy to make her appearance. Oh, how I loved Judy. I told Mom that one day I was going to marry her. Oh, honey, she chuckled. Judy Garland is not a little girl anymore. That movie was made a long time ago. Judy Garland is an older woman now, but you do need to pray for her because she is very troubled and needs God in her life. So that night and every night that followed, I prayed for Judy to find Jesus. Hi, I'm Randy McCain. I um, am a gay Christian. Anytime anyone would ask me, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would always say, I, I want to be a minister. I want to be a preacher because I always thought it would be a wonderful thing to help people connect with God. Randy McCain's book's a story that needs to be out there where people can read it. Randy has probably been the best kept secret of, of the Christian gay movement of getting people out there and opening their eyes and their hearts to becoming affirming. Back in 76, when I was going to school, there were no books that you could check out of the library, or if you, even if you could, you were afraid that somebody might suspect you of being gay, so you didn't want to do that. I believe it has the power to change hearts and minds, and I don't want anybody else to grow up feeling like they're an abomination because they're gay, lesbian, transgendered, or bisexual. I think this book is vitally important. I think it brings a... a a new look at things and also you get to you know see what it was like in in, in the the eighties and, and I mean to see the things how they change and the people around them changed and then the times that we're in right now is is quite amazing and uh, this book represents a lot of that. And I've seen so many gay and lesbian people that have the same struggle I have and transgender people that have been rejected and I had always said what a beautiful church it would be if there was a church that was there for, the, for people to deposit their gifts that had been rejected by other churches. What a rich church that would be. An Open Door Community Church has been that. I want so many people to read this book because I read it and it's beautiful. It's so good. On one page I'm crying, on the next page I'm laughing. It's fantastic and I wanted to publish it before I even knew that just because I love Randy so much and I love his story and I love Gary his husband and his son Bobby. Randy's story and his life with Gary and his life as pastor of Open Door Community Church are one of the happiest endings I know to a story that might not have had a happy ending and I want to have that book to put in the hands of some of the people that get in touch with me when they're really low and don't think their story can have a happy ending. We have people that are gay, non-gay, young and old, grannies and babies, and we're all worshiping God at the same table and all oh, the healing that takes place. And there's no question in my mind that God loves me, Randy McCain, a gay man, as his child. And God save Judy Garland. Amen.